we don't have the sophisticated planning and hedging and and modeling that is that is available to to larger organizations but we now need to actually invest in that and we're hoping to get money to not only um, survive and continue doing the the work of, of being a good neighbor in the community but also being a stronger more business-like organization that can also help other NGOs to to become winners NGOs are stretched uh, to provide relief and development to their beneficiaries and the business skills that need to go into running what have become in some cases quite large organizations that is that is that is almost um, put second on the list because um, the most of the money goes into into feeding hungry hungry children helping sick people but to sustain that long term and to also grow NGOs so that they can be better partners in delivery we need to make sure that we that we're accessing the right business skills and that's where I'd like to appeal to businesses with particularly those businesses who have corporate social investment funding and BEE funding and secondment programs to, to perhaps think of seconding more of their skilled staff to help NGOs which are in desperate need.